All right, so the I mean these these big orange balls seem to work, don't they? Well, as a senior state official just told me, nobody is approaching them, nobody is going under them, nobody is going over them. There's only a thousand feet of it, uh, and this is what worries opponents because the state of Texas under Governor Greg Abbott is planning to extend these things. They'd like to have miles of this floating in the river right on the international boundary in the middle of the most uh, heavily trammeled crossing spots on the river. Uh, This apparently has driven opponents insane. They are in the midst of an all-out war, World War III, against these floating barriers, uh, which, as I point out in my New York Post piece, Uh, can only be because they know full well how effective they are, how impactful they are. Right. So let me get this uh, straight. They work. The state of Texas is going to put out more of it. Uh, I mean, it can't be uh, that hard to get a hold of. They've got the order placed. They know where it comes from. I don't know how expensive it is. But it's a lot less expensive than having your hospitals and schools and neighborhoods and parks overrun by illegals that have no place to live and no food to eat, and no job to go to. It's got to be cheaper than that, right? That's right. Well, this costs about a million dollars to just get that first thousand feet out there uh, purchased and and deployed. And the brief history of this uh, is that under Donald Trump, this floating marine barrier ha- was completely ready to go. They had uh, you know, tested it and studied it and were it had all the approvals in the final months of the Biden administ- of the uh, sorry the Trump administration to put this thing out, and then in the during the transition period, the Biden administration, the incoming Biden administration, decided that had to be one of the first things to go, and they killed it, and so it never got deployed. Abbott just took the ball and ran with it. That's what's going on here now. The Biden administration is suing. They've lit, mounted litigation to sue to kill this thing. And they went so far, get this, they went so far as to suddenly get interest in a clam, a muscle uh, called the Mexican fawn's, fawn's foot. Of that course only they happens, did. Right. <laughs> so they're yeah. now trying to extend endangered uh, species protection. Of course they are. As a matter of the the Endangered Species Act, they pull that out of their ear.